Welcome back to episode 21 An abstraction title in Java So let's get started Open the eclipse here. Okay, mm, okay. In the previous videos, we work with polymorphism, and this videos. I want to show you how you can work with abstraction class. Abstraction class is as like as uh, we have learned in interface. It's like interface, it's prototype. Okay. For example, I want to make a class A. Okay. Now I have a class A. This is a small class. I want to make an abstract method inside this class. So, public void display abstract classes as like as abstract method inter in interface we just make the prototype and we do not need the implementation how it works okay for example we make the display method and we are not worrying about how it works okay so this is abstract in interface you have the, the methods was as default abstract okay but in abstraction class it is not by default you should just you should type abstract keyword for the method you want to make it abstract okay now you are not always to make an abstract method inside a normal class if you want to make an abstract method inside a class your class also should be an abstract method an abstract class okay now they are gone this is the abstract now if I extends the A class and the Java app tell me you extended an abstract class that abstract class have an abstract method so we should implement it okay but this time you don't need to read type the abstract queue just public void display without semicolon you make a normal method now as you can see errors, error is gone this is the abstract another abstract usage is this was the first one hmm. hello
as you can see here is the result hello <coughs> another usage is usage of abstract is if you have an, an, an interface for example interface if this have multiple method okay For example, A, B, C, D, E, F. As you can see now, we have our, in our interface one, two, three, four, five, six abstract method. If I don't have an abstract class. if I directly implement the interface if I have to implement all the abstract method all that I need just the method A and I don't need the remaining methods so what is the way I I just implement A now if I implement the un unimplemented methods as you can see this all method gets implemented by the Eclipse okay this was the interface lesson we have learned in the periods but I need just the method A so I do need the remaining okay now as you can see there is an error again so that time we can make an abstract class For example, FF, and I want to make this abstract class FF, which implements F. Okay, as you can see, when you implement As you can see when you implement an interface inside an abstract class you are not have to implement all the method okay now instead of directly implementing F inside my Java app I implemented the interface A ins uh, inside the class FF which it is abstract and then I want to extend the class FF as you can see here it is again tell me you should implement the unimplemented methods which they are all of these if I if you can see as you can see here is all the method inside interface F because we implemented inside the FF class then we extended inside the Java app but I told you that uh, that uh, we only need method A so there is a way in abstract you you are not have to implement all the abstract method of interface 
I copy the method A, B, C, D, E, F, not A. Okay. Now, once I implement the F interface methods, just we have one unimplemented method which it is a so here now we are not have to implement all them just we have to implement the method a as you can see the error is gone so what a problem okay this tell me that I should change this to the public and also you can add an override okay now we just implement the A Now I can, I just call the display method here and instead of display I call A. Hello abstraction. Then run. can see here is the result thank you for your watching and see you in the next video goodbye